Holy smokes, the coin guy has even more coins in his shop. What's going on here, man? Part two of the big collection we bought. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Most of this is new stuff, stuff we dug out, or some things I want to get go over with. I mentioned that these were the that these were 19, the 1857 sinking of the Central America, and it's not. I got my my. This is the Republic. Went down in 1865. For those people who will point that out to me, 1865, 1857. This came from the ship of gold. Uh, Can I handle this stuff? Sure, go ahead. Pinches of gold. So this is just like gold, like dust. Oh, dust. Okay. It's not really dust. It's a tiny, tiny nuggets. But little, little nuggies? That's what have come out of there. Little pickers? Yep. Now, there's probably a penny weight there, which is $100 in gold, more or less, because it's probably 23 carat, mostly. That's what gold dust, from my experience, runs. And this holds more value because it came because from that it's, shipwreck? it came from the shipwreck. Oh. As I said, that brought on the Panic of 57, which they say led to the Civil War. One of the factors besides slavery. Because when you're in a depression, the way to get you out of a depression is to have a war. <laughs> Took us right out of uh, the depression back in the 30s. And unfortunately, that's what history tells you. But this is more of what we had. Some cool barber halves. So some of this might be things we've already touched on on yes. the other video, but then a lot of it's going to be brand new. Well, you get to see it slower. This I just bought the other day. What's that? The 27S, a hard-to-find standing quarter. Let's see. We're going visual on this video right here. We're trying to get some visuals. Yeah, the 27S is like the key to that 25 to 30 group. And that's when the, the coin was changed, right? Yeah, right after that, which brought about, as I pointed out the other day, the second known uh, commemorative we have. This has got some great color on it, guy, right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. See, this okay. is the first commemorative quarter. Is that the Isabella? Isabella. Okay. And the second commemorative was 1932 Washington Quarter. But it went over so well that people wanted the coin. So it lost its commemorative. It took a year to get dies cut. Kept going. And then they made them out. Here's the 32S. Um, yeah. This is the one everybody wants to find when they're coin roll hunting, right? Oh, yeah. Here's a nice CAC. This has always been a pretty coin. I saw one of these at auction that had the rainbow color here, and it might have been a six or a seven, but it had a breath taken, like this was a rainbow around there. It was just beautiful. It went for like, you know, you had two old men in a contest. Somebody paid like $85,000 for it? Wow. Wow, bid on mine, please. Have another drink at the bar. That's the, I mean, <laughs> the fun of an auction, right? I mean, just it could go anywhere. 80-something thousand. That's a beautiful, beautiful coin. Awesome commemorative piece. Your first commemorative quarter, your first commemorative dollar. That's really pretty. That's, that's a neat color to it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Beautiful dark colors. It's got some hidden rainbows in there, too. Very pretty. Super great coin. These are some of the nice type coins out of it. It's a three-legged buffalo, always popular. Just as a recap, right, from where did this collection mostly come from right here? It came from a longtime friend and collector client of mine. Most of this. And he passed? He passed uh, last week. He was 90. <laughs> some people... Retired military, retired law enforcement. Some people watch the part two American. and not the part one. All American. That's a really awesome coin right there, guy. Oh, yeah. Really awesome. Here's stuff right here. This you one, see. when I looked at the back of this, and I pointed out to someone, too, just look at the pin. The details, pin sharp in those feathers. That see. bird can fly. Let me see. Wonderful detail, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some proof fields it, under there. It looks like chainmail armor. It's so perfect. That's awesome. Everything is priced to sell. I mean, you know, this was a very, very popular set. I remember buying these coins 
and Rubenstein 50 years ago, these things sold for $49. I mean, but then again, that was when a bus dollar was one ninety nine. Yeah. You know, it just... Uh, different times, The huh? times were truly different times. Um, speaking of times... Okay. I'm in the supermarket yesterday, and you know I talk about food, because that's... I was a professional chef and cook my whole life. And I love... I'm a diabetic, so you know I love my devil dogs and my my snowballs and stuff like that. Package of snowballs now only has six in there. Okay? Okay. For those who don't know what a snowball, the, marsh, the marshmallow over a chocolate cake. Five ninety nine for six? Are you kidding me? <laughs> a dollar a piece? As a paper boy, I was talking, I was reminiscing with another paper boy from Jersey about two hours ago. He was in to see me. And... Thank you for bringing us the cannolis and, a, and an owl he brought me. But when we were paper boys, there was always a deli within reach of the, of the paper office. And there's 40 kids. You know, we spent money on RC Cola and, and cupcakes and all that stuff. Devil dog um, snowballs were two for 10 cents. Two a for nickel 10. each. Jeez. Now they're a dollar each. And I'll bet you they're one third smaller. So are you telling me that it costs 30 times as much between money and size to make the same one? Ridiculous. <coughs> it's Ridiculous. the end of civilization. I've, I've noticed the, the shrinking of portions Everything. quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, that's happening a lot. Yeah, and that's the only way some people, you know, you look at, I first thing I noticed that was in, uh, in mayonnaise. Hellman's went from 32 to 30 ounce jaw. Huh. My God, when you look at mayonnaise, nine dollars a jaw. I don't know. It's like, forget the tuna fish. Let's just have a mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> Times are tough, man. What is, what is this Chinese coin you got? What is this thing right here for? I brought this out the other day, and I, we got to look into this because we see there is a market for error grading, or oh, edit error date. This is an 08W, not a 7W. Okay. So the coin is a 08. An 08 proof W. Okay. And they, they put a 2007 on the slab. And it's perfect 30, it's 70 perfect, but <clears throat> perfectly the wrong date. How crazy is that, huh? And then Nathan caught this one. This is a China 10. This is 2016. It's got an ugly milk circle, but it's a panda gold seal. Um, New Zealand mint, NGC. MS-70, 2016. So, 2016. But turn it over. On the slab. Let's see what the problem is. 2016. We're going to turn it over. Oh, boy. That's a different number. There goes your quality control. Oh, man. Well, what were you saying? You're saying that um, you knew somebody that when they worked at one of these places, they had to grade like a lot of coins? They had to grade, from what I understand, something like 2,000 coins a shift. Per shift. Per shift. One person. It was like 28 seconds per coin. Per person. Per, 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 yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, I, I don't know how, well, I'm not a big, I used to have typing class back in the day when it wasn't called keyboard, but I just don't know how you can do all of that or how much individual attention. Look, I'm paying $30 a coin to be certified and... <coughs> How many seconds did you give me? <laughs> Not very much. Uh, you've got to finish that many a day. You're just obviously rushing. you couldn't see the date. I mean, I don't wear gla I don't wear glasses up close, but that's a pretty clear 2014. But oh, yeah. you're human. And that's you know 2016. Oops. So we got these. So if somebody wants these for three thousand a piece, we do have them. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're worth, but I think that's cool. Speaking well, I know that error slab collecting is a thing for sure. It is. So. Yeah. We'll find out. We haven't done research. Speaking of quarters, we bought this today. Most of this came in today. $100 face, standing quarters. 1925 to 1930, whatever's in there. I pulled down any culls. It's all good to finds. All full dates? All full dates. Oh, that's fantastic. All guy. full dates, all standing quarters. 2500 100 face. I mean, if it was regular quarters, it'd be 17 but... 
this is standing quarters. That kind of stuff you don't see much anymore. No, this is a nice bag for. That's this awesome. is the kind of thing your body couldn't put away. I mean, yeah, you don't that's usually awesome. see that. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought that that was pretty cool. Cool deal. That's the game we play. You never know cool. what's going to come in. Cool deal. You don't know what's going to come in. There's a pretty dime. Oh, a little, little one cent right there? A little Indian mm -hmm. head cent? Nice Indian. Yeah. Beautiful. Man. You don't really see them in that condition too often, do you? No, nice red one. I have another one that's a proof. You know, we want to probably say that uh, when this video comes out, you may be watching it at any time because I keep these videos going, right? Mm -hmm. So some of this stuff may be sold out. But don't yeah. hesitate to call the coin guy. Well, it's like the video that comes out tomorrow. Uh, the premium is tomorrow, but just to give you a heads up, a number of the coins in that are already sold because <coughs> there was a show down the road from here on Saturday we had like 10 people in the store who had been at the show and came here. And they said, we had better coins here than the whole show did. Yeah. And we did. The, the 93S Morgan dollars are already gone. Uh, a couple of the 92CC, 93CC, 80, 81CCs, all the GSAs like that um, are gone. One of the 85CCs are gone. I mean, a number of the key stuff, because dealers came in here. And they just started gobbling it up. And I don't know how busy it's going to get tomorrow, but I'm expecting busy. We're going to but confuse people since this is part two and we're saying tomorrow this video is coming out. So this video that you're seeing right now is probably going to be like a week or so. Yeah, probably next after Friday. After yep. that video you've already watched. Yep. Tomorrow's video, it, some of these, mostly the Morgan dollars is what would yeah, have yeah. been in that. This is stuff we dug up. Uh, hard stuff to find. Nice walkers, um, some exceptional ones. Um, yeah, look at this, proofs. Proof. Franklin, 50, 50, Shoot. 51, 52. Beautiful, huh? That's pretty cool, yeah. Pretty cool to find. Look at you with your Stone Mountain and your Robinson, remember? Yeah, so they like the extension. There were a number of, that's what we wanted to show. We have a lot of modern commems too. Man, let me see this San Diego right here, a little crooked one. How, how crazy is that? Because that's not a rattler. It is rattlers. No, why is this? Walkers and rattlers. What happened here? Why is this so crooked? Quality control. Hey, those people trying to put 2,000 coins uh, you the know, The person's together. drinking their coffee <laughs> and they're hitting the machine at the same time. Yikes. This is a rattler. Cleveland, huh? That's a cool, cool piece. A lot of people out there trying to get this set right here, the commemorative half dollar set. And you got some there nice we go. pieces for Proof it. type coins. Ooh. This is, it's kind of mixed, excuse me, but some of it is mixed. Proof shield nickel? Yeah. Man. That would make somebody's uh, Dansko 7070 just a little, little fancier, wouldn't it? Yep. Woo! That's beautiful. It's a proof three cent piece. We're at here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 1881. Not the usual 65, you see, but you see a lot of 81s. Yeah. A lot of them survived. But there were a limited number of proofs. Proof 62, huh? Man. Fantastic. It's a pretty guy. penny. We may have showed this last time. Which one? The 53. Let me see. Yeah, that large scent. How fun, huh? Yeah. Nice walk is this. Yeah, this was an exceptional collection. Uh, here's all your buffaloes, some pretty hard ones. Did you ever find uh, that three-legged you were looking for? Yeah, right you here. Did. You did. I was sitting in the drawer in there the next day. I found it. I don't know why it was separated, but right. I, I had to call Nathan right away. Let's see the three legs. You can legs. sleep tomorrow. We found it. There it is. Three-legged buffalo. How cool, huh? I knew I'd seen it. As I said, you're going through this thing, you're going through 900 or 1,000 coins. I'm going to bring it over to you because okay, you have much better light over there than here. All right. And this is some of the commemorative stuff that's like an extension of that. And here's the extension of, of this. 
of the proofs, okay? Use the rest, another 52, but My the whole run. This guy Some was a serious collector, stuff, I tell you yeah. what. That was awesome. A lot of these are not a big deal. I mean, these are the bigger deal as far as the earlies. And commemoratives, course, you're talking. Yeah, okay. Commemoratives. Yeah, yeah. Yep. This, those, but... Some of this is rattling around, but there's some 70s in here. There's just a lot of these with military angles to it, and they're very popular. But we have them. There was probably a complete modern set. Um, it was just a lot here. Yeah, and we got this, which was a special we had done years, a couple of years ago with... Um, Jeez, you got a bunch. 10 for $250. Uh-huh. Uh, you're going to get a combination... You can't do that deal anymore, the 10 for 250 Yeah, 10 You're for still 250 doing it? yeah, Medal of Honor. Woo! I mean, you have veterans. 10 for 250 you'll get a combination of some of these and a bunch of these. You'll ship those out like that? Yeah, we ship these out. All right, so in, in that case, I'm going to put point guys' information down in the description of the video, so check down there. Uh, give them a call, and that's actually a really, really super deal. Yeah, I mean, t you, you can't, these things are going to cost you $30 a piece to certify. Here, yeah, they already come in their plastic. It says thirty-five dollars on it. You're Who knows not when that was? Finding that deal somewhere else. That's a great mm, deal. Yeah. And this is World War uh, World War Two. Uh, but certified of those. I think you offer that too cheap, but you've already said it now. You can't take it It'd back. Be what it be. No takes you back. But you're not going to get all certified. It'll be a combination of maybe, you know, three with seven yeah. of those. But we'll put something together. Make it make it worth the trip. Ooh, what do you got over here, man? I pulled that out of there. I don't know what yeah, that bag is. You're after at. my own heart. This now. is a bag of a bunch of walkers. These are all pre. These are sell two for twenty five dollars. They're all pre nineteen thirty three. They're a little bit better. Franklin's the fifty two S, the forty nine S, uh, or they're higher grade walkers. XFAUs. Pre nineteen thirty three guy. I saw you There's actually a seventeen had, right there. You actually have a nineteen thirty three walker in the store. I got a thirty three S. I don't know where it is. Uh, I think it's over that way. You saw it over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a trip. Hold on. I know it was over here somewhere because I saw it. Boom. Okay, there you go. Boom. It we got you. stuff all over the place. It hits you, this thing. Here's some more cool type coins. What's the mintage approximately on the 1933S? Ah. Uh, You're going to look it up? I've got to look it up. I, can't, I know a lot of numbers, but I don't know them all. It's not even so much a mintage, it's, that's the height of the depression. Like what survived, right? That's what we're it comes using down coins to. at that time, yeah. Half dollar was a big deal. Oh yeah. People struggling. You can eat all weekend on a half a dollar. A hotel room was a quarter. Whew. There's no doubt why they call you the coin guy. 33S, mintage 1.76 million. But the 64 starts to get crazy yeah. price, doesn't it? Well, they got a three here, and this is an old book. A 21 book and has a Red book, thirteen fifty. Yeah, but you know the they have low, low mintage. But this is a cool coin. That is this cool. happened to be the year the the gentleman I knew died was born. Oh, the guy. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was born in thirty three. Born in thirty three. God bless. Um. But some of these are already gone. As I said, the ninety three S is gone. But these are some high price ones. But I mean the proof like. Look at this one. Well, the ones you see in the video now Look at that. are here, at least in this video today. They'll be here tomorrow. So we're closed now, but... I mean, that's proof like. How come, not, on that. how come we're not hitting that with the, the, yeah. the grade? Yeah, where does it say PL? That sure looks like proof like to me. That's because an 84S and a proof like AU probably goes to $3,000. Yeah, 84S is one of those coins that explode in high grade. Hmm. Beautiful coins. I like the Tony right here. 95 0. Yeah. Pretty stuff, guy. Toned ones, boy. When you like a toned coin, they go. Here's a CAC. Oh, it was a nice dimple. I think we might have showed this dimple off before. Yeah, I think we? we showed a few of these. Most of these are gone. These are two of the better ones that are still left. This is, I think, the first PCGS certified one I had. That's a fat hole. Like, huh? this case isn't big enough. They had to put it in a case in a case. <laughs> a case you know, in a case. Case Shoot. in a case. Here's the 85 cc. The one in plastic's gone. Hold on. That would have been here. Hold on. No, that's a that's a that's an O, isn't it? Oh, is that the O? Then I sold the 85 cc. I was wondering. 
Yeah, that's a no, buddy. You're right. I had a Biden moment. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's this is just so people understand when GSA made the CCs, you also have a whole run of O's and a couple of S's, but they went all different years that corresponded to the Carson cities of those years. In those bags that they found in the back of the vault were some other mint marked and plain ones. They still have a value, not high, as high. In other words, this coin in the 85 is $800. Uh, in the 85 CC, this is 200 Yeah. Far cry. Yeah. Far cry. Cool and I explained, I think, this one, which is me worth mentioning again. Where is That's it? a cool coin. This one, 92S. This coin is breathtaking when it gets a 60, $42,000. We had on this one, two thousand. Yeah. Very neat. Here's another one next to it. Extra fine forty-five. Extra fine forty. Forty-five hundred. Fifty-two thousand. Sixty. Forty-two thousand. I could live with either one of these. <laughs> oh, God. What an amazing collection. Yeah. What an amazing cool stuff. Did we show this off last time? I' not sure. A trade dollar. Some are gone. Some got mixed in. Wasn't some there a trade the, uh, dollar that went for like over, like some crazy amount, like millions of dollars? Oh, certainly. Just a couple of years ago? Certainly. That's a pretty good grade, too, 58. That's not so bad at all. There's a couple of CCs left. Yeah, they're not all gone. That's a nice coin. How much is that? Hold and on. that's in one of those early generation that's ones. What I'm saying. People collect just those. Oh, that's a stunner. That's a fantastic coin. And guy. as I've said before, when you get a you get a ninety or a ninety one in a GSA in a Carson City, mm -hmm. big bucks, four or five thousand dollars they start at. Big money. They only made a couple of hundred, and like I told you years ago, you would go to a show back in the late seventies. And you'd hear like crickets, all the plastic cracking. They'd be turking these and twisting them because it took up so much room with the box. Yeah. And those things were being busted out all over the place. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised half of them are gone or half of them were broken out. Because, you know, it's like when you, when you look at this stuff and you got a box like this. Into the secret vault we go. <laughs> I mean... A bunch, man. We've sold a few already. Those are really pretty, too. We had, between what we bought and what we had, we had almost 60 Carson cities. Most I ever had. Now, these are strapped. What does a strap mean? That means they're certified. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How they do now, that? this is technically strapped, but they didn't do it the same way. It's just like, you know, when they made an ounce of gold in England, it weighed 23. A sovereign weighs 23 and a half. But a 20 franc had to weigh 18.67. Everybody had to have this own, their own identity. So you get all the European gold. Most of it is different weights. And then England's got to be different than everybody else. Everybody drives on the wrong side of the road in England. What can I tell you? <laughs> it's all part of the identity or whatever you want to call it. We make our gold over here with copper and silver for our eagle, right? I mean. We now, all of these are going to be 82, 83, and 84s. Okay. Now over here, we've got a cup. This was the only two really foreign coins. Now this one has damaged rim. KM number 369. This is a five mark coin, 1895. Hess, Dremstrad, whatever. What they call crown size, big silver. We looked these up, $1,800, $2,000 in that grade. I'm cutting it in half for the rim damage. It's like uh, they less spelled, than half. They spelled my name wrong. Hesse. Yeah. Nice. Here's the Queen Mum, old Queen Victoria, back in '87. I think she was born in 1909. Hmm. No, 1919. I think 1919. Okay, so she's about 66 there. That's another one has a pretty good price on it. They're nice, clean foreign coins. Yep, large uh, size. Yeah. I like those. Here's another seated doll, another seated half. 550. 
Nice, you know, nice original color. I would say this has never been dipped. Oh. This is just has nice character. It's even got some nice feels back in there. You know. Let me see this problem free coin right here. Dare to say original looking. I mean, I'm not a expert by any means guy, but I would imagine that this right here would be worthy of nice green bean sticker on there. Yep, the old green bean. Hmm. Here's a 98S with a bean. You there were a number of beans in this, this collection. Hey, believe it or not, they if had it some doesn't, value. Oh, people yeah. People pay extra they for that little, some... that little sticker. Going back to this. This is a nice coin, too. We got one second? Yeah. The Rocky Mountain Horde. Got it. Just another horde, huh? There was a Rocky Mountain Horror Show, and there was a Rocky Mountain this. Rocky Mountain High. Wow. That, that would probably interest some collectors right there, just that Rocky Mountain Horde. They were hordes. It's, you know, there's a lot of coins out there. You One know, day we got to send some of your coins to get graded as the Coin Guy Horde. Coin Guy Horde. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a very good idea. I'd love to have one. What did I want to show you here? I, sorry, I ruined your train of thought. I know. It doesn't take much. My mind will slip I'm from right time Right there to with time. you, man. Oh, these. I had one of these. You might look at this price and say, wow, $590, $90, deal RAS, MS67, okay? Beautiful coin. Now here's D over D's, I got two of these. I had one of these I put at auction one time. I believe it was a 67, it was a 67, CAC. Okay. CAC. I believe it hammered price with heritage, twenty four hundred. Shoo. With a CAC. A sixty eight in this is two thousand dollars. Wow. No, no. No, it wasn't two thousand. What was it? Four thousand? No. It was stupid money. Jeez. Just insane. I can appreciate the overdate twenty four hundred dollars. I could live with this for five hundred. Wow. You know. What the collector needs, man. Whatever they need. Here's another D over D. They want it bad enough, they're going to pay the money. Get the double D? Yeah. We got a couple of the uh, the errors. They were just there. Here's a 67. No D. Here's one with a D. But this one's got all his legs. God, I've noticed that you got way more phone calls than usual today. I'm just a very popular person. <laughs> World famous, huh? Very popular. Jeez, all right. But they, uh... Fantastic. I know you have some more stuff even over here. Yeah, we've got, like I said, this is yeah, part this is, two. This is intense. Um, here's all you have. Here's some Franklin. I talked about those yeah, already. Look at this. Kamems, if you need Kamems. He this has some coming. really nice Kamems. I mean, I hope you guys grab these. I'm tempted, even though I have these Kamems, to grab them again, just because these are so nice. I'm, I'm starting to feel like one of those kind of collector's guy where I already have the set, but I want more. Here's huh? an extension of the Kamems. Here's the five piece. Um, these are medals. This is the uh, World War. Medals, aren't these all World medals? World War One. Aren't these all made out of but metal? These, are, these have monetary value. These don't. Oh, like metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here you have Coast Guard, Army, Air Force, Marines, Navy, Space Force. No, oh, no Space Force okay. yet. This is a six, five piece set. One of them, the plastic is a little, the cave face is a little messy. Yeah. But the rest of the coins are all nice. Um, this is a combination and a discount at that price. That's the whole five-piece set. That's super cheap. And I want to sell it as, as a set. I have a couple of these in Proof and Unk. That's a military three-piece veteran set. Guy, I bet this right here, this price you have on there, I bet it costs more when you got these directly from the Mint. Yeah, Don't I wouldn't be surprised. There's two silver coins in every one of these. Mm-hmm. Especially today's Mint, because today's Mint has been ridiculous price, hasn't it? And this is the uh, What's this? 100th anniversary. Oh, silver dollar and metal set. Nice. And we got another one over here. This is World War II metal. It's just all kinds of things. Yep. Here's your three-piece set. This one's going to have the quarter-ounce gold in it of the Civil War. 
I think this is Jackie Robinson set. Yeah, this one is 670. This one is six and a quarter. I, I want to give you kind of a live review real quick because you price things to move. You know what I mean? That's like it. You're, you're not trying to price this stuff to the point where it's like you want to keep it forever. Your your object as a dealer yeah. I don't want to have the biggest inventory in town. Yeah. My goal is to sell it. Yep. I mean that's you know if I made my money back, I don't want to be a pig about it. You know it's if I'm comfortable with it, it's good. Now like this is the, this is the metal of uh, this is the purple heart one. I have two or three of these in the box. This one is not in the box, so it's slightly cheaper. Right. That uh, cool, like, little California piece Here's there. These are California gold. This is stuff you don't normally see, I tell you No, what. certified. It's genuine. If it wasn't, if it had it priced on it, I'm going at about AU because it might have been unk, but it looks like it's been cleaned. But it's certified. That coin is more like 600 Sure. You just don't see them. Ever. And small like that still makes me wonder how these rough and tumble guys who had calloused, calloused, beat up hands that stuck in the bottom of a pair of jeans. How many of those went into the fire or into a dump? Because, you know, the pants just walked away. Um, just amazing. So little and it, and it was circulated. Remember my wife, she had seen one of these dollar gold coins. Uh, I think I brought one home, actually. And she goes, how do you how do you keep that at the time? Like, how, how yeah. do you, you know, remember that? That's stuff? like the three the three cent silver piece. Tiny little thing. How did it survive? I mean, like I said, this was a, a vast collection, eclectic. Uh, there was a lot of treasure coins. Now, I may have gotten a piece here and there, but the vast majority of it, like I told him, not an expert in them. He took them to somebody else to deal with, and that's fine. I was honest with him. Um, I didn't know enough. Yeah, that's smart. You know, it's just not right. Um, Speaking of treasure coin. Yeah, this is probably the, the coolest heck? one. This is 1410 to 1450. Is that Seville, Spain right there? Yeah, that's Seville, Spain. We're talking the grandfather of King Ferdinand. You know, the guy who sent Columbus over here. Oh, Don't blame the Italians. Spain did it. <laughs> um, That's that wild. would be the grandfather of him. That's a very this coin piece. sells like this, because we couldn't find a certified one. Very similar to this, like this, 22, 2300. Let me see that sucker 1850. Right there. I may see. send that in and keep it. I'm not sure yet, but right now it's available. That's a wonderful piece of history right there, guys. I mean, you're looking at 1430, whatever it is, somewhere in that range. I don't know, man. It's like a museum piece. That's fancy. Now that's old. Yeah. I mean, this is when the galleons, they're still using uh, oars. <laughs> this is, you this know. is pirate era. I mean, no, that's, this that's is fancy absolutely stuff. pirate. This came from the pirate people. This is the West Bay Trading Company in Florida. Fantastic, huh? I mean, that's a cool piece. And there were other pieces like that. Got Here's it. a couple of Civil War tokens. This right here, my eye has been all over this. Somebody's got to grab this. The color on this is fantastic. It's got that nice red color, and it has some like nice toning, that blue toning to it. Fantastic. You know, people really, really need to watch some of our older videos too, guy, because we go to town on like Civil War tokens and everything yeah, in other videos. Not many, I had 600. But we do a lot of history. We do a lot of talking about oh, it yeah. and stuff too, and there there's a lot about, of information. There were about two dozen Civil War tokens in this. Yeah. Uh, these are the certified ones. The others are ones that you can call about, and we've got some. Um, but these are the Civil War tokens. All of these are cool. When they got an R rating of like a 4 or a 5, like an R5, that means that there's less than 200 known to survive. And that's the rarity scale. Yep. Yes. Here's a famous one. People are going to grab that. I haven't had one of those before. The monitor. Yep. It's got the ironclad on there. Oh, That's a pretty famous, pretty famous token. I had six in that collection, and one came back. What does it say? Our Navy? Mm-hmm. Camera's not zooming. There it goes. Oh, nice. Very cool, guy. And once again, like I've said before, these were not made by the Confederate States. These were made by the Northern States because there was a lack of money. Anytime war is in the air, people bury their money. And it was no, you saw what happened during COVID. You had a point there where you couldn't get change. 
I know I was selling quarters to the pizza place in the deli down the street. People were sucking. They were afraid to handle money. And I think I mentioned this before. Even in the Middle Ages, they knew that disease could spread. So when the bubonic plague hit, 1345 in Europe, killed 25%. I think Oxford lost one half of their population. Those guys were not made of stronger stuff, I guess. But <laughs> most of the world lost 25%. What, they, what the merchants would do is that they would have a bucket of vinegar. And as change came in, they threw the coins into the bucket of vinegar. Mm. I thought that was amazing. I thought, how did they know that? And they threw it into the bucket of vinegar because they knew vinegar was a preservative. It was caustic. It was, it was what it was. You know, vinegar is used for corned beef and everything else. Yeah. But they, they would throw it in. So at the end of the day, they didn't have any change. So you had to get them in the beginning of the day. They would soak it all night, take it out in the morning, and then you had change to start another day. Even they knew that then. It's it's amazing because uh, a lot of like these home cleaning things they use vinegar, and like we we'll use oh, yeah. it around the house all the time. Vinegar to clean stuff. Oh, certainly. Yeah. You use vinegar when you're cleaning out your coffee maker and stuff. You mix it with the water. It breaks down all of the uh, lime and everything like that. I drink a little apple cider vinegar. vinegar. Have you ever tried I've, that? I've, yes, I have. Here's the two. Here's the three piece set. No burn going of down. the purple heart. The three piece. The three piece purple heart set. Here's the gold one alone. This is a hair found Kamem. I don't know where he got this. I hadn't seen this before. This is the World War II 75th anniversary medal. This coin is 1600. Holy smokes. But this is a half an ounce of gold. Oh, well, that's why. That's pretty delicious. I would guy. think they, they didn't beautiful. make too many Kamems with a half an ounce. I don't think I've seen that in the silver version as a medal. Okay, I think I, I think. have one someplace. Okay, that's probably where I've seen it. From the coin guy store here in Spring Hill, Florida. 24 carat gold. That's pretty cool. Here's the March of Dimes. And we have others. We have many different ones. I'm sure we have two or three more. I think I have a couple of these. Here's the three piece. Here's the two piece. There's that. I'm focused over here on these things. Here's a certified set of this. March and of right you can buy the March of Dimes set for 50 bucks. Which one? This one? Yeah, the, the same three-piece set. Ah, but, but when you got to get it certified... Yep. You've added some value here. Well, it's going to cost you 35 a coin. You're going to pay 100 just to get them certified. That's a pretty coin. So there's your 150 And these are 70s. It's fantastic. So either way, huh? Guy, what, what the heck? This thing has got some dome to it right here. Yeah, I thought that there, I just pulled that out. It's not, not one of the commemorative uh, run, but... I just thought it was an interesting piece. This this comes from a, <coughs> a private mint. That's it's kind of interesting that NGC would grade it. Huh. Well, I guess you pay their VIG, they're gonna grade anything. <laughs> Whoever's sorry, got the money, know. huh? Is this the one we were just talking about? The old golden rule. What's that one? The silver one? Well there you go. That's that's where yeah, we're seeing I thought it. I saw this before. <laughs> yeah. God, we're amazing. Yeah, wow. There it is. Da da right. Bada bang. Beautiful. Tell you what, these proof scents right here really they just come out at you. Oh yeah, these are the reverse proof. They and they signed. They got I have room on those. Reverse proof is so much more beautiful of a coin than a regular proof, I think. It's like I don't know, I think the device is being proof like that and the fields being kind of like that, kind of that matte finish is just way better of an idea. What do you think? Yeah. Reverse proof. I think proof. it's That's, beautiful. It's, yeah. Truly beautiful. And if this thing has, this is a 70 red, and you know if this has a mark, it's going to be like a flashlight. It's going to jump in your face. That's cool. That is a cool coin. Mm -hmm. This I have the two-piece set, but I don't have it certified. Okay. This was always a very popular set. I remember when those were going for a buck and a half a piece. That's the uh, Smithsonian, I believe. A one? Yep. Yeah. Pretty. I got more of those. Some of these I got more. Here's a single. That's the same one, isn't it? Ultra Cameo, 2001. Yes, it is. It's just this one right here is an Ultra Cameo. And then you got the Deep Cam. Hmm. Pretty. We're going to side by side them. Here we go. Go 
got a Sherlock coin guy on the, on the case here. Well, there's not that big a difference. 99, 110. I guess it's, you know, it's within reason. Fantastic. And then I've showed these before. Wait, what is this? The big ones. That's another one of these big ones. I didn't have any paperwork on this, but this is a clunker. Boy, it's like a hockey puck. It does not look that big from the top, does it? You know, you don't want to be struggling through the through the snow in Alaska and get to the <laughs> bottom of the hill and look up and see them boys looking down on you. Oh, I can't live with the guy. You look I like dinner. Live. You ever been face-to-face -face with a wolf out in the wild? No. Me neither. No. I hear we got fox over here. Foxes? I've seen foxes. I've, never... I've seen coyotes in the morning. Oh, I've seen a coyote here, yes, in Spring Yeah, Hill. I've seen coyotes walking right down my street. They're big. That's when I first moved here. It's like, what the hell? Where did I move to? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at this mangy-looking animal with longer legs than normal. I realize it's a coyote. Yeah. And you got to worry when you start seeing them wandering around at 10 in the morning, there's usually something wrong. Yep. They don't usually bounce around at that time. Dangerous. You huh? know, they're going to hide. Eating, eating everybody's cats out here. Fantastic. Yeah, we should, we've seen these before. Those are huge. Yeah, these are cool. I don't know. I'm thinking of keeping them. I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. They look good in a curio. Well, this one's a thousand bucks. But this was this is listed for twelve hundred. I discounted. My goal, like I've said, is to move them. Somebody better get it before Coin Guy puts it into his forever collection, huh? These have cases too. I have the oh, I have gosh, the guy, why is it so big? I think it's ten ounces. It's huge. One of first five hundred struck. Oh, it's heavy too. Waterloo, huh? Jeez, a bunch of naked dudes on that one, guy. My goodness, hide the hide the kids. Waterloo. Fantastic. Wellington made his mark there. Made hmm. him famous. You know, Benedict Arnold was famous for saving us at Concord, was it? But then he tried to sell out West Point, and he became infamous the rest of his life. One day you're a hero, next day you're synonymous with traitor. Jeez. Old Benedict. I think he lost his leg or his arm. He lost a limb. Somewhere he lost a limb. Old Benedict. And there's more here and there. Here's the two coins set down there. Oh, there it is right there. I just put them everywhere. You had pointed these out before. Uh, those right there just jump at your face. Yeah, those are fantastic. These cases are 40 bucks a piece. Try and buy the case. These would be cool if this was like 50, 51, 2, 3 down. They're cool as but is. But they're I still mean. cool. The contrast is in your face. I can just imagine, you know, me sitting in the bathroom for my extended period of time that I do and just looking at these. Just on the wall, just, ah, oh, look how pretty that is. You know? Yeah, they look great. When they were up there on the shelf. Yep. They were... Here's a four-piece Kennedy set. There's just so much stuff. What the heck is that guy? What are you looking at? Is that an in-sync lunchbox you have over there? No, oh, over here. What? Yeah. And it's Princess Leia? Yeah, Princess Leia. And it's got the candies. I don't say you should chew on those. <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing with an in-sync lunchbox? I don't know. It came in a box of stuff I bought at a house. Um, you know... Fun and games. You just collect everything, man. It's like I said, I had a girl in here one time showed me a brand new Bobby doll. It's a 1958 Bobby doll. Don't you want to buy it? It's in the box. I said, uh, the box says copyright 61. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta, I'm a little dubious now here, you know? I saw, when I was hanging out here before we started filming, a lady came in with a coach purse. Oh, yeah. They yeah. counterfeit a lot of coach purses, don't they? Yeah, my son, my son is like the only authorized luxury handbag and purse person in, uh, in St. Augustine, right there on US1, the Volton Company. He has a wall full of coach purses, Gucci. I, I just don't understand. I saw a woman come in there and pay $1,800 for a, for a tote. Jeez. I come from a different world. Good for you. God bless you. <laughs> but I don't know. But yeah, he he sells a lot of that. You're going to have the, the couple that comes the in. Ones. You're going to have the couple that comes into your store, guy, and the guy's going to buy an expensive coin, 
And the woman's gonna be like, well, what do I get? Well, that's why I had the jewelry out. Oh, okay. I learned that from Rubenstein 50 years ago. You gotta have this and that. Uh, you know, if the, if the wife says, if he can pay a thousand bucks for a penny, I am gonna get a pair of earrings on this. <laughs> you gotta, that's the truth. You gotta have something for everybody. That's the truth. Yeah, this is all silver. There's your purple heart ones down there. You gotta give coins. And I got a, a whole home. bunch of these. I've got a whole run of the uh, of the twenty ones, the ones that were that were the peace dollar, New Orleans, Carson City, all of them. There's a run of those. I got a bunch of those. They run around two fifty a piece, I think. I got the whole six piece set. And here's a bunch of proof eagles. I don't have the box and papers for them. Fifty bucks each. That's super cheap. Oh yeah, I want to move them. I got seven or eight of them. What are eagles now from the man? Aren't they like eighty bucks? <sighs> I don't. I when it comes I wouldn't the box right be here? surprised. I think it is. I don't buy them new or get them secondhand. You know, I get them on the bounce. I mean, I bought a two thousand twenty four. Uh, I bought a two thousand twenty four gold piece today. Two thousand twenty four gold piece. Yeah, gold eagle. I mean, how long have they been out? That's, yeah, that's, that's the question. I mean, this is what, the last day of February. It's a 24. When did they first make them available? Six weeks ago? That's weird. A month ago? That person had to have lost money on that, right? After oh, the premiums? God, no way. I think the mint sells them for like $2,400. That's a shame. Even I don't get that. That's a shame. Whew. God, you got everything. This is it? Oh, can we look at this? Well, it probably won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> I got a guy that I make a phone call. I got a guy. You got a guy? Yeah. What is this? This is it? Yeah, that's 24. How sad, though. People need money. Like I said, this, this Biden economics is not working. No, I get them in here every day. They got to pay the water bill. They got to eat, you know. Have you seen? I your... bought that from the same person I bought this. Oh, let's look. Oh, we haven't looked in this case yet, guy. Hold on, look at this guy. Yeah. Can you can you lift that? What do you got? What if this was this? Oh, that would be Mendez. Oh, I didn't mean that. I mean, it's close to the same price. I mean, this is this is a little bit more. This is a hundred ounces, though. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun to pick up. Oh my gosh, that's a nice one too. Yeah. They're not around anymore. Wasn't well, that the company that kind of uh, screwed a lot of people? This RMC? Mm. They got in trouble. From what I understand, allegedly. Allegedly. Rumor has it. Blood gold. Oh, really? Yeah. Oops. Blood Oopsies. gold. That means, you know, the slaves mined it in Brazil. All right, guys. Here's your question. Belgium, Congo. This is going to be, uh, what, March when this video comes out? So uh, Probably first week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... What do you choose? Do you choose gold or do you choose silver at this very moment? Okay, let's talk current events. I'm sitting home yesterday because I'm off Wednesdays, even though I had to run in because I bought a bunch of four-piece proof gold sets yesterday, which I couldn't turn down. But, and I didn't tell Susan. And, uh, <laughs> until now, until she watches this. But anyway, I'm watching the Bitcoin, which totally amazes me. It just... It starts at 59,000, it hits 67,000, you go to get a cup of coffee, you come back at 62,000. I mean, it's jumping and flipping 1,500, $2,000 every 20 minutes. Yeah. Are you people crazy? <laughs> $100,000 for an enigma? It got down to what, 12,000 two years ago? It's where it belongs, it wasn't worth that. We turned down people eight or nine years ago, people were offering me Bitcoins for $400. I guess I'm stupid. But in the long run, you know, as I said before, if you can pay that much and you look at the price of a snowball cupcake, if economies, price of breakfast, bagels, everything is doubled, tripled in price, how is silver and gold the same price it was five years ago? It's weird. I feel like it's a mistake. I mentioned the 2000, 2008 W burnished. $50 gold piece, okay? The one I had for sale is not there no more, okay? Mm -hmm. $24.50, it's on gray sheet. I did some checking. That coin was $31.50 in 2017. 
Now, the Red Book in 2017, give or take, was about right. But those prices were from 2016 when silver, when gold, was 1150 The high for 2016 was 1150 And this coin was selling for almost three times the price of gold. And now it sells for how much? 20% over? Mm. They only made nine, 11. They made very few of them. I kept that coin. I decided to pull it and keep it. Smart. I brought in a different gold coin because in my stuff, I can play what I want. And, um, you know, it's just that. I also had these. These are in the same category with the other treasure one, that other gold piece. Those are fantastic. Columbia, 1767. Yeah, this is cool old gold. I mean, this is getting close right here to the 1776. And everything here is priced below what we've seen it on going for. Say MAGA? Oh, Magna. Oh, okay. <laughs> no politics. <laughs> no politics. Well, Guy, I'm going to call you out on it because you never really totally gave me an answer. This or this? Come on. How much an gold? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. One day we're going to wake up and say something stupid's going to happen in around the Red Sea or in the Med, and the price of gold overnight we're going to look at the, and went up one hundred and twenty nine dollars. The next day it's up three hundred forty two. Then it went up four hundred and fifty when there's a retaliation by another country. I don't want to see blood in the streets, but I don't understand what the way the world is and inflation and how everything is inflated. I mean, why, gold why isn't gold three thousand? Right. Why isn't why isn't silver thirty five? I mean, exchange rate is ninety to one silver to gold. I mean, it's it's two to one to platinum or more. You know, I thought it was interesting. But you can't mine this stuff for as cheap as when it was in two thousand seventeen or in two thousand nineteen. People are talking about Bitcoin going up because it's going to be more difficult to mine because it's having, I guess, this year. Um, look at the difficulty of mining gold, silver, platinum, palladium. So, again, to go coin guy's point, why are these prices not going up? I told you it was a shortfall of 250 million ounces of silver last year. <laughs> For between what they could melt and mine and what was used, I, I just don't see it. And once again, to me, and I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but when I look at Bitcoin and I look at ETFs, all of this is an enigma. There's, I'm a physical person. I want to see physical gold, physical silver. If I'm looking at these and I've got 50000 in gold and silver, I think silver can do better than gold. Mm -hmm. Can gold go up 50%? Yeah. But can silver double? For sure. Sure. You know, it's just a matter of, of manpower, work. And like I said, you know, the world is running out of fresh water. And silver is used in water purification. Sure. You know. I think right now with the silver to gold ratio, the silver is... Uh, Desalinization. Kind of, it's, what it's, do we got gold at? It's pretty good right now. It's a pretty good idea. But, I mean, gold to me, it still, I believe it goes up too at this I point. I think gold's around 240, yeah. 2040. It came up a little bit today, so yeah. Let's say 2040. By the time everybody watches this video, it's going to drop $300. But that's the way... <laughs> Divided by... 22.6.5, 90 to 1. 90 to 1. 90 to 1. Historically, it's 30 to 40. Mm. In 1980, it was 16 to 1. Silver was $50. Gold was 800. <coughs> exactly 16 to 1. Wow. Not very long ago, really, in the grand scheme of things. No. Well, gold, silver was 49 in 2010 or 11. Yeah, like 2011. Like it, was, it hit 2000 then gold. But silver was 50 when gold was his price last. And now it's 23. Hmm. I'm sorry, I was just touching the silver. I wasn't paying attention. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's okay. It's a pretty coin. It's not, you know, it's a pretty bar. It's not for everyone. Um, it's just that kind of cool. I think this stuff's kind of cool. Well, this is other great. stuff that I don't. You know, I may just keep this. You're, you might cold. keep that? If it, somebody buys it, they can. They see it. If you mention it, I'll talk to you about it. I was going to say. I haven't, I haven't shown it. You caught me in a moment. <laughs> I got you in a moment. Uh, this is loaded right here, guy. This whole section. I don't know how well I can show it off being in the case, but your, your gold is deep right now. Yeah, I got quite a bit. I've sold a few pieces. You've got coins. You've got classics. you got rounds. All gold. you got... 
beautiful, beautiful pieces. Got some hard stuff. When you're looking at type two on this, that's hard stuff to find. The type, you know, type ones would be like 55 or, you know, 59. You have the price of that for $1 golds. Some really good prices in here. I think a couple of ones in here, maybe not. Cool, cool stuff, guys. Here's one. Yeah. Like, how do you not lose that kind of coin? Like back yeah. in the day. It's like I said, it was a tiny little thing in your pocket. How many times have you had change in your pocket and you, you jam your hand down in your pocket and you go to bring it up and like three or four coins fall into yeah, the ground? Yeah, I, I knew that. It was usually, and you're, you're chasing them. Well, you take off your pants and the quarters and dimes go flying. Well, I don't take off my pants outdoors, but I can understand what you're talking Why about. Why not? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the few normal people I think left around here, guy. Me and you, maybe Nathan, maybe. Oh, bullion. <laughs> we got a lot of everything. Um, yeah, you do. You know, you're going to see, as I said, you'll see the, uh, you'll see the first video. This is part two to that. And uh, come see me. Give, give us a call. Give them a call. There's a phone number right there. Yep. Is that still good? Yeah, that number's still good. Is that the one that's been ringing uh, yeah, every us, few minutes? Yeah, uh, if it rings off the hook, we'll try to get back to you later. Apologize if some of it is already sold. The easiest way is to come and see me or call me first. Um, we got a lot of stuff with uh, money orders and stuff coming in um, because who knows this weekend by by Monday uh, eBay or you know PayPal or whatever we use is going to probably shut us down for three days because we had too many orders I don't know I mean you people use credit cards every do they shut down the French laundry for their credit card use you know PayPal randomly shut me down did they? They sent me a message, uh, you know, one morning, said you are no longer going to receive or um, send money through your PayPal unless you give us some very specific information about what you do. Yeah, we've had that We've had that two or three times this year already. And that's, like, scary because it's like, what if you rely on that money and now you're on a hold for a few days? Well, we tell them. I said, don't you see what we do? Sometimes I wonder, like, when you see some of our numbers, not that I'm being, you know, egotistical about it, but sometimes our numbers for views stay the same for a whole week. Is there censorship out there? 100%. I mean, this is the same thing with this. You don't think there are people who walk into Neiman Marcus every day and drop two and $3,000 on a pair of shoes and lingerie and paying cash? Do you say, no, no, I'm not taking your money today. Or do you use credit cards for that? I mean, they know what we do because they print our labels. And you see it going to 20 different addresses all over the country. Not, you know, not LLCs. They go into homes. Mm -hmm. I Sometimes I really am afraid of that. I wonder about that. They want the, uh, the rich to stay rich and the poor to stay poor. Well, I always tell like them when I do the Great American Teaching, I talk to the kids, don't be afraid to work. I've always enjoyed working physically. I mean, I'm not as half, half as physical as I was 30 years ago. Um, I mean, you know, I just worked all day. I, I remember you. working six days a week, 12 hours a day, just yeah. up 4 o'clock in the morning. Now I sleep in. I get up at 6. I was up today about quarter to 6. I mean, I like mornings. It's nice and quiet. Like the song goes, you let's know, get physical. Let's get physical. <laughs> <laughs> Anything Jamie, else, guy? Jamie Lee Curtis. I'll find more, but... I think there's enough to chew on there. There's probably other pieces here and there that have been spread out. But mm -hmm. uh, if you ever get more, feel free to, uh, to give me a heads up. I'll come back in. We'll do some more talking. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. God bless America. Um, I'll probably hear from you. will probably have another video before Easter. But God bless America and everybody take care out there. Amen. Thanks, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye. Right. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school, and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit, and I'm going to start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.